Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. As I announced, every weekend we'll discuss one or two interview question and answer. So I believe this will help us engage better and explore more questions across different topics. So I'm starting this as a new series. So let's quickly dive into a question recently shared by one of our viewers. Suppose you have two interfaces and both of them declare a method with the same signature. How would you handle the implementation class in this scenario? Additionally, if the same interface contains default methods with the same signature, how would you resolve this conflict in your implementation class? This looks simple, but in reality, many people got confused with these two scenario. Okay, so let's try to go with a funny example so that you will get the clear picture of this abstract conflict and default method conflict in interface. Now if you observe, I have a manager interface with generate reports method. Similarly, the director interface is also having the same generate reports method, right? Now, here this manager asks you to prepare the sales report. But he say, I won't tell you, I don't know how you will do it. Similarly, director also did the same thing. I gave you to generate the sales report or some report, but I won't tell you how you will do it. Now you will feel stressed. No one is guiding you, but they are expecting the result. Now how Java solve this or how as an employee you solve this. Now let's go to the employee class. I have created one employee class. This will be the implementation who will listen to the manager and director. Now let's implement it from manager and director. Now if you read the compilation error, what it is saying? Class employee must either be declared abstract or implement abstract method generate reports in manager. So what this employee class is crying now? Hey, my manager gave me the task. My director also gave me the task. Let me implement the generate report from the manager. Is this the correct behavior? No. Now let's say the error you are getting it from the manager, right? Now I will change it to first director, then second manager. Now if you read the compilation error, class employee must be declared abstract generate report in director interface. So now the statement error statement is changed. Compiler forcing employee class to override the generate reports method from director interface. This is something compiler decided which one to scan first. Okay. There is no concept that the interface will override from either director or from manager. Now since my both the interface is having the same method, I must need to override that. Now if I will override that generate reports. Now you tell me from which interface either from manager or from director from which interface this particular method is override. Can you tell me the answer of it? In Java world, if two interface have method with identical signature, one implementation is enough to satisfy both the interface. So there is no separate overriding from director or from manager. Okay. Java will treat it as a generate reports method implement once for both the interface at runtime. Okay. So always interviewer will ask you, tell me from which interface it override. There is no concept in Java. Okay. If both the method have the identical signature, then since this is the interface and this is a contract, override it once will satisfy both the contract of director and manager. Now it depends how you want to access it. Your manager give you the task to generate report. Your director also give you the task to generate reports. Now you override it. You can write your own implementation to make your manager and director happy. Okay. That is what you can do. Now, since you override it, it is on your control how you want to write the logic. Now, how also you want to access it? Just create the object of manager and director 
by creating the object of child class and then start accessing it like this. Now if you will call this manager dot generate reports, since you override it, whatever the logic you have written, that will be executed. Similarly, if you will call director dot generate reports, whatever logic you have written here, it will execute. Because this manager and director, these are two interface and employee class implements from them. Now if you will check the employees instance of director and manager, it will give you the true. It means it is not overriding for any individual interface. It overrides from both the interface. Okay, so you can give this statement to the interviewer. If he is not listening to it, then we can't do anything. We can give him a Java book to read it again from the scratch. Fine. Now let's move to the next scenario. This is fine. You have the abstract method method does not have any body so it is fine okay now what if this is a default method just define this as a default you can define another method but let me modify the same now in director also make it default why it is crying because in java if you will define the default method you need to provide its body now give something sys out manager Okay, assume your manager is a technical person, he give you some way to generate the report. Now similarly, your director also is technical, he is giving some way to generate the report. Now as per Java rule, if you define the default method, then your implementation class is not forced to override it. That is the reason in Java 8 they have introduced default method, right? Now if you will go to the employee class, remove this, it should not give any compilation error, right? Because this is the default method, manager is the generate report default method in manager interface and in director also, this is default method. Now why my employee class is crying here? Read the compilation error. Now it is forcing me to override the generate reports method. Don't go with this class from where it is forcing me. That is our ID problem. He is just scanning randomly out of these two interface. Okay. But my first question, why it is forcing me to override since those are the default method. In Java, when two interface provide default method with the same signature, then the compiler force you to override it. Because Java gets confused. It doesn't know which generate reports you want to inherit. Whether you want to inherit from manager interface or you want to inherit from the director interface or you want to inherit from both, he don't know. So to avoid this kind of ambiguity, Java forces you to resolve the conflict yourself by overriding the method. Okay. So what you can do, see for example now if I change it, there is no compilation error because default method will not force you to override it. Right. Now I'll just remove it, come to the point. Since both the interface have the same default method, Java don't know which one he will override the first or which one he will use the first. So it will force you to override it. Just override it. Now it is up to you whether you want to use your director logic or you want to use your manager logic, just call them. Okay. If you are even not agree with your director and manager logic, if you feel they are not technically good, you can go with your own implementation. Or if you are smart enough, use something from your manager, use something from your director. On top of them, you can write your own logic. Okay, this is up to you how you want to handle it. If you have two default method with the same name, you must need to override and provide your own implementation. Okay. This is what majority of people get confused in abstract and default method. And firstly, interviewer will always confuse you from where it is inherited from interface one or interface two. So make sure 
to give the correct answer to the interviewer so in simple word if both the interface have the same abstract method both are empty so no confusion for java your class must anyway implement generate reports because interface says i gave you no implementation you must implement it but in case if both the interface have the same default method generate reports both have the bodies now java gets confused should i pick director one or manager one which one is correct so that is the reason java force you to override and resolve the fight this is up to you okay so try this with different use case and go deeper to understand more about this functionality so do let me know in a comment section also you guys can feel free to share your interview experience or any questions so that i'll try to cover them in my upcoming videos okay till then stay tuned i'll see you in the next video